Thank you for joining us for Memorial Healthcare's Community Conversations. In this weekly video, experts from Memorial Healthcare will answer your questions about how we're caring for our communities during the COVID-19 pandemic, and also update you on new services and offerings at Memorial Healthcare. Our greatest responsibility is the health and safety of our patients, staff, and community. That's why we are committed to keeping you informed and prepared. Today we welcome Dr. Michael Kramer and Dr. Julie creighton Sovis, pediatricians at Memorial Healthcare Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine, as they talk about keeping our kids safe this fall as school starts back up. Common symptoms of COVID-19 in children include fever, headache, sore throat, cough, fatigue, nausea or vomiting, and diarrhea. However, children and adults infected with the virus that causes COVID-19 are asymptomatic, meaning they have no signs or symptom of illness. Parents, family members, healthcare providers, teachers, and other adults can play an important role in helping children make sense of what they are hearing about COVID-19 pandemic that is honest, accurate, and can help minimize fear. A few tips on talking to children can include remaining calm because children can react not only to what you say, but how you say it. You can also share with them how you handle your own stress or anxiety, which can help them learn to cope with their own stress and fear. Make yourself available so if they have any questions or fears about the COVID-19 pandemic, they can come and talk to a trusted adult. Pay attention to what your children are exposed to. It is important to monitor the radio, television, and internet because too much exposure can lead to an increased anxiety, so consider reducing the amount of screen time your child is getting. Also, teach your children everyday actions that can help reduce the spread of germs. Remind children to wash their hands frequently, wear a mask if they are over the age of two, and to cough or sneeze into their elbow. COVID-19 is a short name for Coronavirus Disease 2019. It's a new disease. Doctors and scientists are still learning about it. Recently, the virus has been making people sick, but the doctors and scientists are trying to learn more so they can help the people who are getting sick. Doctors and healthcare experts are working hard to help people stay safe. There are several guidelines that districts should be following to keep students safe this fall if parents decide to send their children back to face-to-face -face instruction. Desks should be spaced six feet apart and face the same direction. Students should be placed in cohorts so there is less of a chance to spread the disease and easier contact tracing. Everyone should be wearing a mask if possible and practice good hand hygiene. It will make it easier on your child if you can start them getting used to wearing a mask now before school starts. New policies established by schools are intended to mitigate, not eliminate the risk. No single action will completely eliminate risk of transmission, but implementation of several interventions can greatly reduce the risk. On-time vaccination throughout childhood is essential because it helps provide immunity for children that are exposed potentially to life-threatening diseases. You have the power to protect your children against serious illnesses like measles, whooping cough, or cancers that are caused by human papillomavirus. Because influenza viruses are constantly changing and the body's immune response declines over time, everyone over the age of six months old should receive a flu shot every year. Getting the flu shot has been shown to reduce flu-like illness, missed school and work days, as well as flu-related hospitalizations. The CDC does not currently recommend routine testing for students or teachers. If the school is not doing temperature checks, it is encouraged the student and staff check their temperature before going into school in the morning, and if they are 100.4 degrees or greater, or have any sign of illness, should stay home. A student or staff member that has tested positive or has been in contact with an individual that is COVID positive should self-quarantine and contact their healthcare provider. The American Academy of Pediatrics strongly supports the continuation of well-child visits during the COVID-19 pandemic. Since the onset of the pandemic, the number of well-child visits has dropped, which has resulted in delayed referrals, screenings, and anticipatory guidance, and it can also lead to delayed vaccinations. Concern exists that if delays in vaccinations may result in secondary outbreaks with vaccine-preventable illnesses. Your providers have been making modifications in their clinics under the guidance of the American Academy of Pediatrics to keep parents and patients safe as possible during the pandemic, so children are still able to come into the office for their well-child visits. A couple of these changes include getting checked in for your child's appointment over the phone and then being brought directly into the examination room, which is limiting the number of families in the waiting room. All of our staff and providers are continuing to wear masks and continue to pro provide appropriate measures for cleaning the examination rooms. 
Also, we are checking families out and scheduling future appointments in the examination room, which again decreases potential exposures. The American Academy of Pediatrics, HealthyChildren.org, and the CDC website are good resources for families if they have further questions regarding COVID-19 or if they want the most up-to-date and accurate information regarding the coronavirus pandemic. You can also contact your health care provider. Thank you for joining us today. If you have a question for Memorial HealthCare's team of experts, please visit our website at www.memorialhealthcare.org to submit a question. We will do our best to answer these questions on our weekly video or in one of our frequently asked questions updates. We ask that you follow our website and social media platforms to get the most up-to-date information. Memorial Healthcare, we're here, we're ready, we're keeping you safe.